Welcome to Your Space Journey, where we venture into the future of space exploration. Your journey begins now. Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're diving deep into, well, some SpaceX drama. It's about their Starship program. And it's gotten kind of spicy. Yeah, spicy is a good word for it. We're talking about SpaceX, a company with its sights set on Mars, butting heads with the FAA, who, let's be honest, are known for being a little more, shall we say, grounded. Definitely grounded. And this isn't just your average launch delay either. It's about Starship. This is their whole reusable rocket system, a real potential game changer. We were all hyped for Flight Test 5, you know, with that crazy super heavy booster catch attempt using the launch tower. Oh yeah, the one where the booster comes back down and basically gets snatched out of the air. It's wild. Exactly. But of course, nothing with spaceflight is ever easy, right? So what's the holdup? Why is the FAA pumping the brakes? Well, officially, it's all about safety. The FAA says this booster recovery system is untested and they're just not willing to risk it. Right. Safety first, especially when you're talking about giant rockets falling from the sky. Hmm. But SpaceX isn't taking this lying down, are they? They've been pretty vocal about pushing back against the FAA. Yeah, and it's interesting, right? They're basically saying, look, we've got a pretty solid safety record here. We know what we're doing. They seem to feel like the FAA is being a bit too, I don't know, nitpicky. Okay, so what are they being nitpicky about? What's the sticking point for SpaceX? One of the big ones is this whole thing with their water deluge system. Apparently, there have been complaints from the TCEQ, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, there is even an EPA fine. Wait, really? The water deluge system? Isn't that just spraying water to muffle the sound of the launch? What's the big deal? Mm. So it turns out that even something as simple as water can cause problems if you're not careful about how you discharge it. We're talking potential contamination, habitat disruption, that sort of thing. Huh. Okay. So even drinking water can be an environmental hazard in the wrong context. But I heard SpaceX is saying they've actually gone above and beyond what's normally required for environmental impact studies. Yeah, that's their argument. They're doing things like bird monitoring. They're using infrared drones to scout out nesting areas, that sort of thing. They feel like they're being made an example of, especially with all the online criticism. Right. It's like they're saying, we're trying to go to Mars here, folks. Can you get a little <laughs> breathing room? <laughs> so it sounds like this is about way more than just a water deluge system, right? I mean, is this SpaceX FAA thing really a symptom of a much bigger issue? It might be. And to understand why we need to zoom out a bit, look at NASA's Artemis program, for example. You know, the one that's trying to get us back on the moon. A lot of that hinges on commercial partners. And SpaceX is one of those partners, right? Big time. They're developing and launching crucial stuff, like those lunar landers. And here's the kicker. Those Artemis landers are going to be launching under commercial licenses. Ah, OK, I see where you're going with this. The same kind of licenses that are causing all this drama with SpaceX right now. Bingo. And that has some people seriously worried. Worried that all this red tape from the FAA is going to end up slowing down the whole Artemis program. Exactly. Any delays could snowball. And that could give other countries a real advantage. Think about it. China, Russia, they've got their own space programs. They might not have the same hangups about regulations. Man, so this isn't just about SpaceX versus the FAA anymore, huh? We're talking about potentially falling behind in the whole space race thing. It's bigger than just bragging rights, too. This is about scientific progress, who gets control of resources in space, even national security. It's high stakes all around. So we've got this whole web of issues, right? SpaceX wants to innovate. The FAA is trying to play it safe. And meanwhile, there's this whole other space race happening in the background. And this tension is even spilling over into Congress now. People like Representative Brian Babin have been pretty vocal about it. They're concerned that these FAA regulations might be holding us back, especially when it comes to something as important as Artemis. Wow, so even Congress is getting involved now. Well, it makes sense when you think about it. The rules we have now were mostly made back when space was a government-run thing. Now with private companies like SpaceX jumping in with their own timelines and ambitions, the old ways might not cut it anymore. It's kind of like those old rules were made for a totally different game. Right. Yeah, it's like we're trying to play a whole new game with an old busted rule book. Exactly. And figuring out how to write a new one, well, that's the tricky part, isn't it? I mean, for decades, space exploration, it was all about 
national prestige, mm -hmm. governments calling the shots. Right, like a giant science project for entire countries. Yeah. Planting a flag, proving what we could achieve. Right, but now, now it's different. Private companies, they're changing the game. It's not just about exploration anymore. It's about who gets there first, who can make a profit from it. It's about like the economics of space, right? Mm -hmm. Mining asteroids, building moon bases, maybe even space tourism one day. Exactly. And that's where this whole debate gets really interesting. Because you need some rules, right? We can't just have companies launching rockets willy-nilly, potentially causing harm or even, you know, messing up space for everyone. Right. Safety first, always. But at the same time, we don't want to stifle innovation. I mean, SpaceX, they're pushing boundaries, dreaming big. And those dreams, they, they could lead to some incredible advancements for humanity. So how do we find that balance? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there's no easy answer. We're in uncharted territory here. Literally, every launch, every new technology, it's a step into the unknown. And with each step, we have to ask ourselves, how fast is too fast? What are we willing to risk in the name of progress? It's a lot to think about. And it's not just up to SpaceX and the FAA to figure this out either. This is a conversation for everyone. The future of space exploration, it affects us all. It really does, because ultimately it comes down to this. Who gets to decide the future of space? And what will that future look like? These are questions we all need to be a part of answering. Big questions for sure. Well, that's all the time we have for today's deep dive. But this conversation, it doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. What do you think? Head over to our website, leave a comment. Let's keep this discussion going. And until next time, keep looking up. Your space journey.